All right, we're back. Let's go out to North Carolina and talk to the great and wonderful Jackie. What's up, Jackie? Hi, Dr. John. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for calling. What's up? Yeah. Um, so my husband and I, we have been married 19 years, um, high school sweethearts. Gross. We have five kids together. <laughs> um, but last week he revealed to me that about 15 years ago when he was in the military, that he had cheated on me numerous times Ugh. during his first two deployments overseas. Um, thinking back to that time, I mean, we were having issues. Um, and someone had actually came to me and said that he had cheated on me. Um, I confronted him then about it. And he looked me dead in the eye and was like, no, that's not true. Um, and I believed him, you know, because I, I thought I knew him. I thought he was a man of integrity and, um, but yeah, so I'm, I feel like I'm at a crossroads. I can either choose to leave and I know what that looks like. Um, or I can choose to forgive him and, you know, try to rebuild. And that's, I, I don't know what that looks like. I don't, if, if that's something I do choose, I don't know how to do that. Oh man. I'm sorry this happened. Yeah. Thank you. It's like buying a house and you realize 15 years later, they didn't put in a sewer yeah. pipe or something. Right. And you're like, right. I mean, that's just right. been going in the yeah. backyard. Yeah. Like, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I feel yeah, it I feel deceived um well, for, you know, so many years. <laughs> yeah, that's not a feeling, that's a fact. That happened. Yeah, right? You, right. You were. Right. And then if you're like me, I'm wondering, well, what else did you not tell me? Exactly. Yes, and I I did ask him that. I was, you know, is there anything else that you need to tell me like this is the time to get it all out. <laughs> but um, that's like you're he... asking you're asking a liar to tell you the truth <laughs> now, right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And of course, he said, no, 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 not at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, gross. So I'm I, very remorseful about it, um, but that doesn't, you know, change the fact that I'm hurt and betrayed. And I just feel like our whole the majority of our marriage is a lie. Like yeah. none of it was real. And that I think is something to be careful of because that's not true. Okay. Okay. The picture you had is different. Right. But he did show up when your mom got sick. Okay. He did come to the hospital five times. Right. 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 He did right. fill in the blank. So those things right. are all true okay. and they're all real. And so burning the whole thing to the ground, it's, everything's a lie. It's not. Those things actually happened because you were there and you saw it. You witnessed it. And he did look you dead in the eye and say, I promise you. And he lied. Mm -hmm. Both are true. Right. And so kind of like, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of both ends moving forward. And your temptation is going to be to go to absolutes. There's a ton of both ends moving forward. Okay. So mm -hmm. this, I, 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 I don't have, I don't have an easy answer for you. Okay. Um, this came up a lot in 2018 and 2019. Okay when the me too st stuff happened and people who were married had two or three kids together or loved their husband. He was a great husband. He did all the right things. And then it was like, wait a minute, back in college, you, that was sexual assault. Right. Or you raped me back. Like you got me all drunk and wait a minute. Right. And so there was this, all of a sudden, this this thing dropped in the middle of people's homes, which is who you are right this second. And my God, you would have gone to jail if you had done what you did back then now. Right? right. And I, I, I don't know that there's another path other than this. Um, and if, if anyone's got some wisdom, reach out to me on, on Instagram. You can just DM me if you're a therapist and you've got some, a different path. But you have a choice to make, mm -hmm. and it's very binary. I leave or I stay. Mm -hmm. 
I leave. I'm a single mom with five kids, and we figure yeah. out what that looks like. Right. right. I stay. Everything is new. That's it. And if I stay, I am making the choice to work as hard as bloody hell as I can to incorporate that. Not forget it. You can never forget it. But to incorporate right. what happened into our marriage and move forward. Because if you choose to stay and choose to put that in, uh, that arrow in your quiver to shoot him whenever he's late to something or whatever he whatever, then the whole thing burns down. Right. Yeah, that's I definitely don't want to yeah, participate in that or, you know, be passive aggressive towards him or, you know, constantly throw it in his face when he does something, you know, wrong. Can I tell you um, what I'm hearing on you and you can tell me if I'm crazy? OK, I hear that you want to stay, but you want to want to leave. Yes, <laughs> I've always I've I've always been that that person that was like, I would never if you know, if my husband ever cheated on me, like that would be it. Like there wouldn't, I would walk away. And now it's, and, and if he were to do this last week, like if he would have cheated on me last week or a month ago, I feel like it would be so much easier to walk away. You'd be in the same spot you're in right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's that's so cool to be so tough. It's like the person without kids are like, if I had kids, I would, <laughs> oh, you don't know. Right. I mean, we right. all have these proclamations till they happen. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what it was, a proclamation. And so and then, I want you yeah. to trust Jackie, not this macho image of Jackie that you were projecting to the world. Okay. And you're going to probably vacillate. And there's going to be days that you really wake up and the sun is shining and you're making breakfast and he comes in and you lean in. And there's okay. going to be times you pick up a dirty shirt and you are overcome with rage, right? Okay, right, yeah. There's going to be days you want to sit down across the table and say, I want to hear about every single girl, what she looked like, what her name was, where y'all were. Yeah. There's oh, going to be no, <laughs> I, well, I don't, I don't want that. You, yeah, you, not I yet. Don't want that. That day will come. Not yet, but I promise you it'll come. And there's going to be okay. days when you just want to say, Hey, that was 15 years ago. We're mm -hmm. different. We got five kids. We have our home here in the states. We're moving on. And right. the challenge is, is going to be sitting down with a, an architect, in your case, a marriage counselor, mm -hmm. and y'all designing and building what's going to come. Because your marriage, as you knew it, is over. Right, right. And you all have to decide, are we going to build something new? And by the way, he has to be in and on it, too. Yeah. No, he's fully committed. I mean. No, he thinks he is. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he is. <laughs> right, yeah. How can I trust that? I don't know. Yeah. He just rolled the stone away and the dragon just came out. So he thinks he's all in. He doesn't fully know yet. True. What what brought this out? What brought the story? Um, so we we've just been like just sharing things um <laughs> with each other, just kind of like self just like self reflecting and you know, there we, we had some really bad times um kind of early on in our marriage and just talking about like how we got over that and you know, um drinking was involved on his part. And, um, I had shared that I had felt like maybe he did something because I always felt like when we were around people, there were whispers. I felt like they were, they were talking about me. Oh, so some of his, and, some of his combat buddies knew. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh. for sure. Okay. So. <sighs> and nobody man. told me, yeah. well, I mean, one person did, but it, they weren't close. So I, you know, just kind of took them at face value. And, and do you see that, that, that that's where you're going to have to go because that's yeah. not just betrayal 15 years ago. Yeah. That is, you made me the laughing stock. Right. Oh yeah. No, I told him how foolish I must've looked. That's it. You know? That's just, it. Yeah. 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 <sighs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It was, and there's that other voice. that was like, Oh my gosh, it was 15 years ago. Yeah, that. Yeah. You know who I was 15 yeah. years ago? An idiot. Yeah, exactly. We were we were definitely different people then. I mean, that doesn't excuse the fact. No, it doesn't excuse anything. You know, yeah. but it, we were, you know, we were we were different people then. We've definitely grown and matured together. Um, but yeah, it it still hurts a lot. Well, yeah. So I guess what the best I could tell you is this. Um. I would make a decision 
and it sounds like okay. I know what your decision is, but I would make a decision that I'm at least interested in meeting with an architect or not. Okay. If you're done, you're done. If you're right. out, you're out. Right. I don't right. hear that on you at all. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. You have to get let Jackie off the hook. Jackie is not weak. Jackie is not a coward. Jackie is not a wimp. Jackie is not a pushover for staying. Okay. Jackie's yeah. very strong. Yeah. And that's something I've always kind of prided myself on is, you know, I'm strong, I'm independent, especially, you know, when he was in the military and he was gone, you know, I was holding things down. And you know how much infidelity runs in, in yeah. those circles and you weren't going to be that woman. And here we are. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. in the same way that you were trying to work through the man he was 15 years ago, also work through this imaginary you know, pseudo Wonder Woman that you'd created that wasn't real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in the past. Okay. Let that ride. Yeah. This is Jackie okay. right now facing reality. I've got five kids. I love this man. I love who he be has become. I love the husband he is. And God, I want to kill him for what he did 15 years ago. Yeah. And for the subsequent lie that, that rippled yeah. through our marriage for the last 20 years. Right. Yeah. Oh, both are true. Okay. Yeah. And I... Ugh. Sometimes speaking is very hard. And I, I, it can be a moral issue. It can be a cowardice issue, whatever. I tend to think of it as a tools issue. And that's probably me being soft on people, but such it is. Um, he may not know or have the ability to sit in a room and hurt somebody like he hurt you again. Mm -hmm. But he might be able to write it down. Okay. And so I would ask him. I want you to spend some time writing out, preference be handwritten, but you can type it if you'd like. Anything else I need to know? Because you embarrassed me. Yeah, and you broke sure. And you broke my heart. Yeah. And I know it's not, but it feels like my entire life is built on a lie. And so I need you to write out for me, type it out for me. What else do I need to know? If anything okay. else, any other cheating, any other office romances, any other shirtless photos you sent to somebody, I, I need to know mm -hmm. every bit of it mm -hmm. and write it out and then write me the letter and I'm going to read it and I'm going to decide what's next. Okay. And I'm kind of 50, 50 right now if I'm super honest with you. Okay. I've got buddies in the military and I've worked with enough folks in the military that things happen overseas. Then people come back and it's, it's a hard toggle because I'm not there. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, for sure. No excuses, but. Right. And the other 50% is that's nah, just people who cheat or people who cheat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're either a cheater or not. Right. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like I've got, um, and then if yeah. you read that letter and you say, I've made an appointment, you need to be there and we're going to go figure it out. And I think you tell the counselor what you just told me. I found out of some pretty, um, insid insidious infidelity, multiple women, mm -hmm. um, over several deployments. And then here we are mm -hmm. and we need to figure out how to mm -hmm. build something new. Okay. And expect yourself to feel schizophrenic. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I already do. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> but but people are caught off guard by how weirdly turned on they feel in certain moments. Okay. And then how weirdly turned off they are in certain moments. Okay. All right. That's good to know that what I'm feeling is normal. Okay. okay. Hey, do you mind, happening right now? Do you mind just getting weird for a second? <laughs> Okay. And I, I, this is like a this is like a teaching for people listening. Okay. Okay. There's a very weird. Oh, I'll show him in a very erotic way sometimes. Okay. Fair or not fair? Fair. Okay. Yeah. And then you get really pissed at that you feel like that. And then there is also like, I will never sleep with that man again until the end of time, and then I'm going to add a year to that. Right. Yes. Yeah. And then 
you're overcome by this is happening right now. Right. And it's this yeah. toggle and you don't know who you are anymore. Yeah, that's, that is all true. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's exactly, yeah, that's what I've been experiencing this past week. Okay. And you feel super close that he told you this deep, dark secret yeah. and it was romantic. And by the way, you asked for it. And yeah. also I want to kill you and bury you in the backyard. And I don't think they would ever find your body all at the same time. Yeah. Yes. It's all yeah. It. It's, yeah. It's very jarring. Okay. That's the foundation that's been cracked. Mm-hmm. So give yourself a lot of grace. Do a lot. Go get a special journal. Okay. And just put the new twin towers. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, but <laughs> right, um, okay. give yourself permission to be like, Oh my gosh, I haven't wanted to be with him sexually this bad in years. And then the very following hour, I will never. And then the very following hour, I've never been this mad. And the very following hour, I miss him so bad. I wish him, I wish he would just come home and hug me right now. I keep record of those things because they're going to, they're going to, they're important for you to process as you move forward. That's grief. What you're experiencing, just that oh, that tidal yeah, wave. For, for sure, yeah, okay. for sure. I hate that for you. I'm sorry, Jackie. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you for for talking with me. This is it's been really helpful. Have you told any of your friends? I have not told anybody. You're actually the first person <laughs> that I've discussed this with. All right. So, um, an earlier caller, unfortunately, had a similar situation, but not really, but sort of. Um, I think you're before you call a, a counselor, mm -hmm. after you sit with your husband and ask for that letter, I think you sit down with two or three women that you really trust and you let them know. Okay. And I think I would tell them, I'm not asking for y'all's wisdom right now. I just need to say this out loud to some people I trust that I know I, that will keep it quiet. Right. Okay. Yeah, and there's I something about saying it out loud that takes it from being surreal to this is happening to me right now. Yes. Yeah. Is that fair? That's fair. And yeah. Jackie, one more thing. One yeah. more thing. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I want you to put a very dramatic, in concrete, in stone, not even in concrete, in stone, this moment that you're feeling right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have a default setting that rolls off to, uh-huh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Cool. Cool. All right. <laughs> Whenever you feel uncomfortable, you roll into it. Let's just move on. If you bury this, it will come back and destroy right. you. No, I, I, I know that. Yeah. I know you know it, but you, <laughs> I'm trying to, you have to know it enough to do something about it. I know okay. my gummy candies will kill me. Man, it's like, ah, that's all right. That's, that's a problem for future, John. This is a problem for right now, Jackie. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Cause I can hear yeah. you doing it to me. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm in very intimate space with you right now. And I get that, but I want you just to be cautious when you, people ask me like, what do you mean by awareness and curiosity? This is it right here. When you feel your body start to go, okay, cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's when you go, Nope, my body's trying to run. We're not going to run this time. We're standing yeah. firm. Yeah. So I have to get used to being, Uncomfortable. uncomfortable and that yeah. is the next little while of your life yeah fair yeah that's fair yeah i'm so sorry this happened i'm so sorry this happened and i'm so grateful for you being brave because because of your bravery this conversation is going to help a whole bunch of people and to feel a little bit less nuts just crazy when these things happen just it completely unspools people and so um, thank you for being brave.